One of the most exciting things in your life is the Holy Spirit of truth. When you get to know him so close and he is close to you and you're close to him, you can start to hear his voice and he is going to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> and how do I know that? Because he's kept me out of trouble a bunch of times because he says, uh -uh, don't go over there. Mm, keep your mouth shut. Don't do that. The Holy Spirit is amazing because when you think about the Holy Spirit, you want to think about somebody that's right there with you that's going through everything with you, that's teaching you, that's helping you, that's guiding you. Oh my, everything that the Holy Spirit is, he is just wonderful. But Jesus himself said that the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. So I just have a few things that the Holy Spirit wants to do and is doing. And you're going to see more and more and more of this happen. He is beginning to display or to bring to pass the glory of God, the presence of God. We're going to have it more and more. And you go, well, what does that mean? The glory of God. Does that mean there's going to be a cloud up in the top of the church? Well, there might be. But you know what would even be better? Would be if the presence of God through the power of the Holy Spirit began to be so close to you. And this is what I used to say. I still say this all the time. It's like he's breathing down the back of your neck. And as he's there, he's so real to you. And he's saying, this is what the Father says. This is what Jesus is saying. This is what he wants you to know. And you get to be friends with him to where you know his unction. And so if he says, hey, don't go to that grocery store today, you go, okay, I won't. And if he says, mm, go ahead and go on to work this morning, but leave 30 minutes early and go down this road instead of that road, you think, well, I don't know what that's all about, but okay, I'll do it. We do not know how often we're going to miss things because we're so close, intimate with the Holy Spirit and we can sense or feel the presence of God, the Father, with us. And as we sense His presence, then we actually can begin to see the glory of God and manifestation. I've actually, in my life, this is cool and I'm not, I'm not going to try to tell you the whole story, but I've had the glory of God manifests so in my physical body that my physical body actually shined. And I mean, some of you might go, right, is that a lady talking about? But it's okay. You know, I'm telling you, there were people who witnessed it, who actually saw it. My family was the first that saw it. And this is way years ago when I went to heaven and I came back and they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were looking at me and I said, what's going on? And they said, what happened? I said, oh, I went to heaven. And they said, but you're glowing. I said, glowing. And I'm looking, I can't see it, but they could see it. And there's been other times that the manifestation of the glory of God, the presence of the Holy Spirit has been so active, so close. You just like, it's like you're breathing the Holy Spirit in. And, when, and as you do, then the manifestation, well, you think, why? What happens when your body glows? Let me tell you, you know God is so close to you. You can feel him, just his breath. You know he's right there, and you know he's going to help you. And so there's been other times that I've actually glowed. My hands have glowed. My face has glowed. Different things has glowed. That I didn't know it, but other people could actually witness it and see it. And that's what happened to Moses. Because when you're with the Lord and you spend time with him, the Holy Spirit starts to manifest. And as he manifests and the presence of God begins to just wrap his arms around you and begin to show you how valuable and precious you are. And as he does that, then you begin to experience the love of Father God. And so many times that has happened to me. And I'm telling you, I've been crying and it just felt like God wiped away the tears from my eyes because of the presence of the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit. He loves you. He wants to be close to you. He wants to be your teacher, your helper. Just get to know him. Ask Jesus. Say, Jesus, teach me about your spirit. I want to know your spirit in a very intimate, personal way. Listen, that's just a little bit I got to tell you about the Holy Spirit. You're going to enjoy the rest of this too. So God bless.